What do you make of it? They all appear to be parts of the same piece of leather. It lies under the eagle's bed, near the wolf's abode, close to a tree kissed by fire, and abreast the rock that does not fit, and a route to an island. The symbols remain elusive. That's Oak Island. I've sailed past it half a hundred times. A forgettable isle, to say the least. The location seems to be the easy part. Aye. And we'll be waiting for you the moment you want to get after it. You actually found something? Ha! <laughs> I'm a little on edge, Captain. The prospect of Captain Kidd's treasure and the mysteries that lie with it have me a trifle spooked. Stay your anxiety. It is likely only treasure. I thought the same thing, but considering what the man went through to hide it, I'm not so sure. All those scrolls lead us to the belly of this remote island. Awful out of the way, Captain. What was Kidd hiding for Cripe's sake? I do not know, but I am intrigued to find out. Remember what was written. Close to a tree kissed by fire, near the wolves' abode, under the eagle's bed and the rock that does not fit. Whatever that means. Do you think there might be landmarks? Possibly. It might fit in another place. Got it. Done.
there. I know where it is. How in the... You figured it out. Oh, well, that's why you're the captain. Yama. That's a bloody big piece of stone. Any ideas? Perhaps some gunpowder would move it. A nice big explosion, eh? Might do the job. We'll do well to scare away any more blasted wolves, that's for certain. I <laughs> ought to be enough. This is what Captain Kidd suffered over for so long. Astonishing.
we lost you there for a moment, Captain. Are you all right? Yes. I think so. What happened down there? What did you find? That's it. A single gold coin. There was nothing else. Was the cash pilfered already? Ah! What the devil? I do not know how it works. But I now understand why Kid valued it so. That's a curious little piece, isn't it? Well, I've worked my incredible and bottomless magic, and that little thing is, in fact, of first civilization origin. It seems they use them as personal shields. It gives off a rather powerful electromagnetic field, explains its aversion to metal, also explains why Kid's legend tells of him being invincible. Having that trinket in your pocket would easily bend a musket ball's trajectory. Nifty little thing, really. Anyway, just thought you want to know. Please do carry on.